Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Today I want to do an experiment where we take a char tin with char material in it. We'll be using punk wood and denim. And I want to bury it up in my fire lay and see if it creates good char material. Good char cloth is soft and supple and does not have any smoke residue on it. And many times it'll have a little sheen on it. So I'll have one can buried up in the fire lay, the other can will be on top in the flames as usual. Many years ago, I found that was the best way to make the cleanest, most reactive char cloth is to have the char tin in the flames. So let's set up both cans, um, go down the driveway and, and get a branch off of that dead dogwood tree and we'll get started. Make sure that your denim is 100% cotton. Six pieces of denim in each char tin. All right, yesterday I took this branch off because it was in the way of the lawnmower. And for the same reason, let's take this one off next. Corona razor tooth saw, you can get them off Amazon for about $30. <laughs> show you what I have in mind for a fire lay inside that hobo stove. A couple layers on the bottom before I make a shelf. And we come across with a platform, a shelf. And the small char tin go right in there and then go back to the log cabin style lay and if I can sneak it into the stove with it already built that's what we'll do That should be enough to get our little branches to start burning. Let's put some branches down inside, down around the edges. Now the shavings will go up here. I like my upside down fires, don't I? You notice how often I use them? Now we just need some scrapings. Right 
straight up on top. Now, I'm going to scrape up a pile that will ferrite ignite. Let's try that. Bayite keychain ferro rod, three and a half inches long by five sixteenths in diameter. Let's let it burn. I wonder what I could be doing while this thing is burning. on top and the littler can is on the bottom Here's a char tin on top that had inconsistent heat, and usually that's going to make hard places on your char cloth. Let's just see. Punkwood usually turns out okay. And that punkwood looks good. Now, as far as our six pieces of denim, it's got smoke residue on this top piece. Smoke residue, smoke residue. And this piece is starting to get hard. This piece is clean and supple. That's a great piece right there. Yeah, that is a really good piece. And then this piece is clean and supple. So, considering the inconsistent heat, this one here is the only one that's just a little bit, you know, starting to get stiff, and it should be just fine. Let's go ahead and uh, flint and steel this piece and get rid of it. Tear it in half to expose a bunch of fibers, which it didn't. It didn't because it's hard, so let's tear it back the other way. Tear it in half again. Yeah, we got some fibers that time. Put it up on top of the sharp edge of the rock. About a sixteenth of an inch behind that sharp edge. What did I do with my steel? And my 
my steel made out of a Nicholson file. It ignited twice already. It ignited three times and went out. That's the problem you run into if you have char cloth that is not supple. Let's go ahead and tear it in half again and we'll have eight ply. Maybe we can ignite something in all of those threads. We got it to ignite. Good. So, just because your char cloth is a little bit hard, I would not throw it out because you can still use it for solar ignitions and you know, you can put an ember in it. Of course, you could use the ferro rod on it. So, now I want to show you that out of this same batch, this one that is so supple. I want to show you the difference in reactivity with this one that is so supple. Tear it in half, expose a bunch of threads, and we should only need this two ply. So that's why you want clean and supple char cloth. It's much more reactive. All right, so this was the can that was on top of the fire. I'm interested in seeing how we did on this can that was buried up in the fire lake. Once again, this punk wood, punk wood looks great. Looks fantastic. All right, I already feel some hard places on this, which is all right if it's just around the edges. Let's go through the six pieces. Sort of supple, clean and supple, soft. Supple and soft. Yeah, that all feels good. We'll go, and this, even this bottom piece is soft and supple, but it has a lot of smoke residue on it. Let's go ahead and get rid of that piece. So we made mostly good char cloth and the charred punk wood is usually okay. We'll go ahead and try it out.
want to burn up all my good charred punk wood. So, all right, y'all. Do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.